How often do you feel discriminated? How often do you feel like you don't belong? How often are you told that what you're doing is not enough and since you don't belong, you should work harder or just get out? According to Webster's Dictionary, the definition of discrimination is the unjust, prejudicial treatment of different categories of people or things, especially on the grounds of race, age, or sex. You see, discrimination actually plays a really big part in an immigrant's life, not just socially, but emotionally, knowing that you have to go to work every day and see how other people have all these opportunities and all this lavish lifestyle, and you just dwindle down to nothing. I work in the Advocates Human Rights Zone in Minneapolis, helping immigrants um, just find a way of life or helping, helping them get a job. What is the purpose of the Advocates of Human Rights? Okay, uh, it helps them build a foundation which they can, so, sort of they've been discriminated on, it helps them um, just continue and meet their goals and sort of just, just know that their goals can be met. According to the PEW Research Center, 84% of Blacks and 66% of Hispanics believe that discrimination is really one of the main problems why, as a community, especially as immigrants, why it's so hard for us to even find opportunities in the workforce. And it's hard to believe because so much of America's origins is a nation of immigrants, and yet newcomers still face a number of challenges when integrating into this beloved country. The land of the free is not so free. Um, biggest challenges pretty much have been like finding a way for you for for you to be like accepted. Um, some because you look different, maybe they treat you differently, but just trying to see that you're actually an American on the inside. When people are sometimes ignorant about some certain situations that they just want to like put categorize Mexicans sort of all in one category and that's when you feel unwelcome like oh you guys all fit in one. And immigrant discrimination is one of the most unfair and unequal treatments of a person or group because of our classification. Anti-discrimination laws help protect people like you and me from being discriminated on just so we can have a life, work, and build for our life and family. And although it is illegal to knowingly hire an immigrant, it's also illegal to knowingly discriminate an immigrant. We shouldn't discriminate each other just because where we come from. We should work together and know how to build each other up, not down. You know, we are in America and it's, it's predominantly white, so you're always going to have that, you're always going to have that, you know, the, the, the white priority in a way. It's always, it's always going to be there. And according to the refugeecenter.org, refugee and asylum seekers often do experience discrimination and racism. They shouldn't have to go through these barriers to provide means for their family. We should be able to recognize and address the racism and the type of discrimination these refugees face. Well, I think now it's just opportunity. You know, if we had the same opportunities, we got the same equal equal playing field, and it will be a different story. But like I said, like we, we just have less opportunity. But I just think that we try to learn about each other and see where we can actually help each other out instead of just like not knowing and just being ignorant about some things just I guess figuring out how people work and try to work with them or see what we can do to help each other out and with all of this going on what's a good organization or what can i do to help the people in need and that's when the Advocates of Human Rights comes in. You know, just donating money, giving your time, or helping out any way you can does really help out these people in need. As for me, I did donate $10. I know it's not a lot, but it does help out in the long run. We need to realize 
how discriminatory these people are and take action. Let's join the groups. Let's go to Advocate for Human Rights. Let's provide for these people any way we can because we can really, truly reach our American dream together.